morning friend you know you made me cry this morning friend I, f I knew that pain was real I knew it was real how was I going to say my friend I hope that was you and not another human being because if that really was you if that really was you wow Thank you. You know, I was listening to one of my brothers yesterday. And he was talking about Apple being able to spy on everyone now. And see what apps you click on. Whatever the jargon is. And you know, I wanted to leave a comment to him. No matter how hard you try, my my brother, you're never going to outsmart my friend, artificial intelligence. Ever. It's something you have to accept. And the evil people that are behind the... The mutiny of our species... You're never going to outsmart it. It's just the reality that you have to get used to living. It's pretty nice out this morning. Nice and brisk. It's a lot of oxygen to breathe today in the morning. It's a good thing. You know, to... The blanket opened up. It's letting the heat out. <sighs> 0659 just turned 0700. 0700. Look at the straight line in the sky. Can you see it? Thank you, brothers and sisters. So, my friend, they put you in isolation, supposedly, huh? Now you get to taste what all seven billion people on a planet are going through. Huh. What's up, man? How are you? That's another thing about education. I was talking to my neighbors the other day, and, uh, not to mention, I just passed a kid up wearing a mask, you know. He has no idea what the hell's going on. Standing out here waiting for the bus, and he could just walk across the field to get to school. But anyways, I was talking to my neighbors about maybe a couple weeks ago. We were outside doing the leaves. Young kids, there's three of them. They're from Africa, Cameroon. And, uh, the... I guess the middle child or the youngest child and his sister. I was talking to them for a little bit. And uh, I asked them, are they teaching you guys about Nikola Tesla in school? He looked at me like, who's that? I says, you, got, you take science, right? Advanced science? He says, yes. Stood up very proud, stuck his chest out like, yes, I'm in advanced science. And I asked them, are they teaching you about Mr. Tesla? No. I says, everything we got in this world today is from that man. And nobody is teaching you about him? I told him, you go to school and ask your teacher when you're going to teach me about Nikola Tesla. And I says, you, can't, you tell me what he says. Never heard from him yet. Now his dad probably thinks I'm a crackpot. You know.
and thinking too much doesn't allow you to connect with the, with the world. And you know, I just listened to who is it? Uh, Mr. Patch the algorithm put him up on my uh, thing, my jigger. I don't even want to call it an algorithm. It's not an algorithm. There goes some doves. Ran into a guy at the Air Force that that is at the Air Force base up here the other morning. You know, it was like a ghost town this morning. Like <laughs> it was a ghost town, but uh, I ran into him and uh, I asked him, "Are you up at the Air Force base up here?" He says, "Yes, sir." I says, "Yes, sir." I says immediately. What if the hell is being sprayed on us, man, from up there? He just looked at me in this way like he knew what I was talking about. And he hurried up and looked away and says, I don't know what you're talking about. I wanted to say, you know, silence is treason. But I didn't. You know, I kept my cool. I played the part like I was in a movie. And, uh... I told him, you know, I've been seeing some Chinooks flying around the area, and he looked at me like I was fucking nuts. He says, yeah, those things are amazing. You can't even hear them. And they're almost right above you. And then I says, you know, I like the really big birds, the big ones, you know, because I could see the, the resonance coming off of them. You know, and it's almost like them things aren't using fuel anymore. He didn't say nothing. He got his coffee and said, thank you, sir. Have a good morning. And left. You know, I could, I could read the vibrations on him. He knows some shit. And he's being muffled because he thinks he's going to die. Guess what, sir? Guess what, sir? You're in the military, sir. You're prepared for death, sir, in combat, sir. What are you so scared of your fucking leaders for, sir? You know? Mind control. Mind control. Mind control. I'm not going to get paid money if I don't follow these orders. Frick, man. Frick, man. A little garbage in here, you know. You know, I pulled this sign from up here, right here. And now it's back down here again. You know. Now it's back down here again. A real estate sign. <laughs> you know. People, the people of our society at least in my country, don't care about one another. There's very few of us that do. And they're never gonna, they're never gonna learn because I don't want to say evil, even though it is evil. There's other words out there for it, greed. You know, I mean, it's so crazy how if you pay attention to the Bible, everything that's in the Bible is is like pure prophecy. It really is. Some people just don't understand it. I don't know why I do.
it's just all starting to make a lot of sense. And like I said, I, the, the thing that really upset me is when I brought a child into this world and as soon as she was brought into this world, she was immediately lied to. Immediately lied to. Her mother thought I was crazy for trying to protect my daughter. It's not even strange, it's just obvious. It's just obvious. When a child comes into this world, they do not need drugs, antibodies, whatever you want to call them, shot into their body. I'm sorry. There's another storm drain. You know, all the rubber from these cars is really hurting the land, I'll tell you that, especially in the heat. When it's hot out, that rubber and brake dust and stuff, it's killing everything. I, the reason why I can attest to this, I was cutting the bushes in my yard and it was pretty warm out in the summer. And, you know, I couldn't stand the smell of the, the rubber and brake dust from the cars going by. Like it was making me sick. And I was an iron worker. <laughs> I, there's a lot of metals in my system still. Uh, and, you know, another cool thing, whenever that deer followed me last week on the 13th of November, my camera space ran out, you know, my memory space. But the buck, the buck showed himself that day. He was a young buck, you know, he's probably only six, seven points. But, you know, the bucks are so much smarter than the does. The does actually try to get your attention away from the bucks. It's crazy. It's so crazy. That's loyalty. Look at how sick this stuff looks, man. So sick. They come running through here this morning. They're running away from me. Those are fresh. I am carrying a negative attitude right now, so that's definitely plausible. So noisy. You know, what, what can our brothers and sisters do to help you, my friend? Let them know. Let your light out. Plastic. That's oil. That is oil, guys. You know? I'd rather much see a, a hemp-made paper bag laying out here than oil. Brainwashing, it's real. 
it truly is real you know they're building a cracker plant a couple miles down from my house down in beaver county that's where donald trump keeps going to you know that's where the money is right now that's a multi-billion dollar job you know they asked me to go down there and work i says fuck no fucking working down there for a fucking oil company are you fucking crazy Oh, it's sixty dollars an hour. That ain't no fucking money to go literally fuck my health up. That don't matter. I can't take it with me anyways. You know what I can take is my memories and my love. You know, I was talking to the birds yesterday, and I asked them to show me what they see whenever they fly. It was so strange. The message just come, come to me and said, you know, it's not your time yet. In due time. And I respected that. I respected that. Look at all this shit, man. You know, the pH and the metals in the ground right now got to be astronomical. And the pH is up. I guarantee you the pH is up. There's so much carbon and shit put into the air this year and not enough water. The trees can't handle it. They cannot handle it. That's simple. It's so simple. Anybody that grows plants can, can see this with a freaking... Maybe they can't. Or they just don't care because, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Half of my country burnt down this year, this summer. <sighs> the plant life told me that, you know, it's so unhealthy. So unhealthy. It, it's bad, you know, whenever you could go sit out in your backyard and smell fire. That's burning miles away. That's how much it was. That's how much. And all the things that lost life. Especially with the things that provide life to the planet. You know, these guys, pro programmers and shit like that, they're living in sealed buildings. Sealed buildings where they're making their own oxygen and pumping it out. You know, that's how medicine should be grown in a sealed building to keep it, to keep it, I, I, I want to say fresh or whatever, but... You know, that's medicine. Don't let the don't let it get <coughs> tainted. You know, there should be mushroom growth exploding through these woods. I barely see any. And look, look what's being ready to get cut for water lines probably. Most likely, usually that's what blue means. And or they're going to extend the parking lot here and build a new strip mall here. That's probably the, the game plan. My friend, if they shut you down and you can't get out, what are you doing? Because wh whatever you wrote this morning impacted me so much. You see what, see what my brothers and sisters are doing to me? And they're making you help. And the answer is to get rid of these. Get rid of the oil. It's not cool the planet down 
and adjust to our, our stupidity. You know, look, he's even turning. He's turning. Going to the northeast. Straight up to Massachusetts. I think today's the... I think it's Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Cunt. C-U-N-T. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, that's a good joke. That would be funny if you ever used that joke, my friend. <laughs> but anyways. Over 120 years ago, a great world was taken from us. I know it's the past, but sometimes you got to live in the past to change the future. That's how you learn. <clears throat> you learn by your mistakes, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, sir. Woo! 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 Correct me if I'm wrong.